Only on Fox, for many families with missing loved ones, the holidays are a tough time. An upstate mother is preparing to spend her first Christmas without her daughter, who you see here, Alexis Ware. She disappeared in January. After leaving her apartment on Woodruff Road in Greenville, heading to Anderson County, Ware was last seen leaving a 7-Eleven gas station on Highway 29. Her car was found days later in McCormick near the Georgia state line. You can see it all mapped out there for you. Well, nearly a year later, she's still missing. Only on Fox, Brooklyn Cromer sitting down with Alexis Ware's mother, who hopes her prayers are answered this Christmas. Well, Alexis Ware's mom, Alberta, says Christmas was her daughter's favorite time of the year. She says she was the life of the party and her smile always lit up their home. Her family says the holidays won't be the same until she's found. Alexis vanished on January 30th after spending the weekend at her mom's house. Alberta says one of their last conversations still haunts her. She told me, Ma, I feel like I'm being followed. She said that someone in a black truck was following her. Um, she felt like she wouldn't see her 30th birthday. Um, and I, you know, I'm asking her why did she feel that way. She never would explain why she thought the way she thought. On Sunday afternoon, Alexis goes to her apartment in Greenville. She talks to her mom when she gets home and tells her she's taking a nap. But just a few hours later, she heads to Anderson County with two kid, with her two kids. Alexis meets up with her son's father at the 7-Eleven on Highway 29. She hands off both children. And days later, her car found along a rural road in McCormick. That's about 45 minutes away from the gas station. I never heard anything else from her. She never called me. Um, I didn't even know that she even left her apartment until her son's father called me at 7.30. It's puzzling to, you know, try to understand what took place from the time she left here and made it home and in her bed and what made her jump up and leave her apartment. Alexis's cell phone, purse, and other personal items were found in the trunk of her car, and investigators say they saw no signs of a struggle. Now, the Anderson County Sheriff's Office says they are actively interviewing people, but investigators have not named any suspects or persons of interest at this point. If you know anything about Alexis's disappearance or whereabouts, call the Anderson County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers at one triple eight Crime SC. Tori.